Welcome back to New York Viewpoint. I'm Ken Rosado. Over 40 years ago, Jacques D'Amboise, a principal dancer with the New York City Ballet, founded the National Dance Institute. He believed that all children should have the same opportunity that was given to him. The Institute has impacted the lives of over 2 million children and continues its mission with the Center for Learning and the Arts in Harlem that opened five years ago. Joining us today from the National Dance Institute, also known as NDI, are Tracy Lester, the executive. John Weinstein, their artistic director. Good to have you both with us Thank today. Great to be here. Thank so you. Tell us what sets NDI apart. Well, NDI is uh, a unique arts education program that's been in existence for over 41 years. And we work with New York City public school children to inspire them towards excellence. And we use dance as a catalyst for that. And so we've been going strong for quite some time. We work with 6,500 children throughout the New York City public school system. And we have 12 uh, associate programs across the country. We also have programming in Shanghai, China. So our impact and our reach is quite extensive. Without NDI, what, what would the chances be that many of these kids uh, may, may never have experienced dance in the arts uh, and the classical dance and all the different types of dance you show them? Well, our goal is to introduce dance, but it's not to create professional dancers. We're really saying that children can achieve so many great things when given the opportunity. And so NDI introduces this program into their classrooms during the school day. We start at the beginning of the school year. We take them through the end of the school year. And the goal is to really see them develop and create sort of this progression of performance and dance that um, sparks that flame inside and that mm -hmm. their families see and the school administrators see and um, everyone is so excited about their success and accomplishment through this form of dance. Have you had kids go on? To they, they do, some do, but again as Tracy said that's not the goal, but right. really children master the choreography of their lives. The skills that they learn, the skills required to be successful in the dance class, collaboration, teamwork, uh, critical thinking, mm -hmm. following through on a task till the end. All of those things are skills they're going to take with them through life. So, I, and how many kids are right, uh, right now? 6,300 in New York City schools. That's amazing. Thousands more in affiliate programs. We have 12 affiliate programs. And we're working in partnership with the Children's Palace in Shanghai, China. Uh, training teaching artists and, and educators there in NDI's pedagogy. 38 schools in the Minhong District of Shanghai. And how do uh, teachers, school administrators, how do, how do schools uh, elsewhere get involved in this? Well, I mean, through this platform, for instance, people will hear about us speaking about NDI and they'll contact us. We also are interested in targeting, um, reaching communities, as many communities as possible. So we'll also look to see where we might like to have an NDI program. I think that the point here, though, of working with public schools is, is so important because we're able to touch and uh, expand and reach a, a great many children in all different communities and from all different backgrounds um, and really sort of affording them the opportunity to be introduced to this art form that they might not otherwise have encountered. Talk more about the in-school curriculum. Joyful rigor. <laughs> Classes are taught during the school day. Our teaching artists take children on an exhilarating adventure. That is hard work, discipline, joy, and rigor attached. It's the essence of all good education. I mean, do they actually, uh, actually dance? Are they actually dancing? Participation. Dancing? The okay. best way to learn is by doing. So yes, we start by introducing basic movement vocabulary that's built over time and then they practice and practice and practice and that builds their confidence and it culminates in a fully realized theatrical production in their school at the end of the year. Performance is embedded in everything that we do. That is fantastic and I, I bet a lot of kids who would have never given thought to ever having Never. anything to do with dance Never. must just blossom like a flower at the end of blossom, this. Blossom, the confidence, uh, the risk-taking. Parents see their children in a different way. Classroom teachers see their children in a different way. Often children who struggle in the academic classroom, has, they have tremendous success in the dance class, and that success is carried with them. Do you see an equal number of boys and girls wanting to participate in doing this? Oh, definitely. I would say one of the areas that we feel great about is how many boys that we're able to reach and introduce. Um, and I, I think to just to add on to what Ellen said, sort of this notion of rigor and repetition and learning is a skill set that they will take with them through life. Mm -hmm. So, you know, after middle school and after high school, when they go into college or into the workforce, they've really developed these skill sets, this ability to stick to it and master something. And how do you measure the impact overall of NDI? Can I share a quick sure. story? Christian, he's in one of our schools that's <clears throat> just happened, struggles academically, struggles with behavior. He was in the class 
class, he did a step, he excelled. So the, the NDI teacher asked him to demonstrate for his, his classmates and then asked his classmates to respond, to give him feedback and, and compliments. When he finished and sat down, he leaned over to Jen and he said, all of those compliments just put the pieces of my heart back together. Oh. The whole program is worth it for Christian and we see and hear stories like this time after time after when a child has the opportunity to feel successful early in life it changes the trajectory of their life that's amazing. we have now in 41 years we have alums that come by they're bringing us their children they're trusting us with their children they want their children to have the same experience so, and i want to read it most don't go on to be professional dancers right. But still, that confidence that you instill is amazing. Yeah, confidence. well, and when you talk about the impact, I mean, there, there are the intangibles, and then there are the, the tangibles. And the intangibles are these sort of social, emotional, developmental things mm -hmm. that change over life for a child into an adult. And then there are the tangibles, sort of how many children we serve, how many families we reach, sort of what, what, is, what are the touch points through, through that um, daisy chain effect of our impact over time. So we feel like the impact of NDI is, is far-reaching, and uh, it's tremendous, and we have touched generations of families. We have parents who are bringing their children who are NDI alums, and so we know that this program has really made a difference for all of them. It sure sounds And it instills amazing. in all the children a love of the arts. Absolutely. A and, love and again, of the arts. In and something right. that's, that's too something. often fading from Correct. society. This you is know, wonderful. To, to imagine a life doing interesting things when you're not at work, mm. do you know? Absolutely. Imagine our life without music and dance and poetry. I love the fact that you're both so passionate about this. And it's, it's, it's really infectious. It's wonderful. It's thank wonderful you, what, you. what you do. Tracy and Ellen, thank you so much. Thank you for this opportunity. All the best pleasure. to NDI and to all the kids you serve. Thank That's thank terrific. You. Thank you again for being here. And for information on all the organizations featured on Viewpoint, and if you've missed part of the show and would like to see it at your leisure, do visit us at abc7ny.com slash viewpoint. We're coming right back with the Girl Scouts of Greater New York who are celebrating 100 years of selling those awesome cookies. Don't go away.